Welcome back to Art at Home with Miss Lindstrom. Today we are going to step into the kitchen for art. For today's art project, you are going to need an adult to help you out. We are going to learn how to create salt dough. Now, today I'm going to teach you the steps to creating salt dough. After you've created your salt dough, we're going to learn about some cool different things that you can make with it. Now, let's get started. All the ingredients we are going to use today are things that you should hopefully have around the house. Ingredients are different things that you put together, and when you mix them all together, they create a recipe, and a recipe is how you make something. So, we're going to use some different ingredients to make salt dough. Now, before we get started, the first thing you're going to have to do is preheat the oven to 250 degrees. This is where you need an adult. You cannot use the oven on your own. You need to make sure that the adult preheats the oven for you and is helping you use the oven. So, let's get started. For today, you are going to need a big bowl that you can mix in. You are going to need one cup of salt, you are going to need flour, and water. So I'm going to start by mixing together two cups of flour. So I'm going to take my measuring cup, I know this is one cup because it says one cup on it, and I'm going to measure out two cups of flour. and then carefully put it in my bowl. One, two, good. Get some of the flour off my hands. Next, I'm going to mix together one cup of salt. I'm going to carefully measure. Good. One cup of salt. Now, you can use a spoon or a fork or your hands to mix this, mix this all together. Now remember, like we talk about in art, if you're gonna mix stuff with your hands or like when we work with clay, make sure you take off any bracelets or rings first before you do it. So I'm gonna mix up the flour and the salt. Good, until they're all mixed together. Next, I'm gonna slowly add one cup of water. Now I'm not going to pour it all in at once. I'm going to pour in a little and then mix it up and pour in some more. This is the messy part. Now remember, if you don't want your hands to be messy, you can use a spoon but you are going to have to touch the salt dough eventually. And the rest. Now, the next thing you're going to do is mix this all together, and then you're going to knead the dough for 10 minutes. Kneading the dough means using your hands to press it and roll it around until all the flour and salt start to mix together. Good. Now, your salt dough should start to form together and look more like dough that you can work with. If after 
the 10 minutes, it's still kind of dry. You can add a little bit more water in, but try not to add too much. Once you have a nice dough, you're going to leave it in the bowl for 20 minutes, and then we'll come back together and create. Now that we've waited 20 minutes, our salt dough is ready to work with. Now, make sure your oven is heating up to 250 degrees so that we can place it in there when we're done. For your workspace, you are going to need either a cookie sheet or a piece of aluminum foil to work on. These are the only two things that can go in the oven. I'm going to put a little aluminum foil on top of my cookie sheet so I have a hard surface to work on. Now, you are going to create with your salt dough either a portrait, like we practiced with the drawing, or you're welcome to use the salt dough to create your invention. I am going to create a portrait with my salt dough. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a little piece and I'm going to roll it between my hands to create a spear. Now, once I have my spear, I'm going to smush it like a pancake and kind of stretch it out. This is going to be my face. I'm going to lay it down on the aluminum foil to work with. Now, what do I need next? Mm, eyes. Good idea. So, I'm going to take just a little bit of salt dough. I'm going to actually split it in half. That might be too big still. So I'm going to split that piece in half. I'm going to roll it into a little sphere. And I'm going to make two little eyes and then press them on. Now, if it's easier while you're working, you're welcome to use toothpicks or a fork or another piece of material to draw into your salt dough or add little details. All right, what do we need next on our face? Your nose. So I'm going to grab another little chunk of my salt dough, make the long and skinny part of my nose, place it on, and then remember if we have two nostrils and the ball of our nose. Next, I need a couple of lips. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more and I'm gonna roll two little coils, little snake pieces. One for the bottom lip and one for the top lip. Now, just try your best with this. If the salt dough starts to get a little sticky, you can actually put some flour on your hands to help with that. But let me show you my face so far. Be very careful, I wouldn't recommend picking it up. But it looks a little weird right now, but that's off to a great start. Eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Now, I remember that my person had ears, as most people do. So I'm gonna add on two little ears. You are welcome to add small little teeny tiny details like earrings or glasses, whatever your person has. Now, my person has kind of long hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the salt dough and take some little chunks and I'm going to roll it into long little coils, little snakes. And I'm just going to kind of lay it on top, kind of thick. Now I'm not going to make every strand of hair because that would be kind of crazy and take me a long time. But I want to do a you just to show that my person has hair. Get some more. You can also 
add like a big chunk on and then use a fork to kind of scrape in here if that's easier too. All right, looking good. Now, once you've started making the hair, I don't recommend picking it up because it's gonna get really fragile. So try to just leave it on the surface that you are working on. All right, and now I have my portrait. So I'm gonna leave it right where it is. I'm gonna put it in the oven. And remember, you need to ask an adult or parent to do this step for you. Your parent or adult needs to put the salt dough in the oven for two hours or until it's hard. Then when it's out of the oven and done cooking, let it cool for a little bit. And then you can paint or add different colors onto it. Try out different materials. See what works for you. I can't wait to see your salt dough creations. Please leave comments or questions on Google Classroom. Remember to upload a photo of it to Art Sonia. And you're also welcome to check in with me during the week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, during my art live times. I'd be happy to do it with you or help you answer any questions. Have fun.